There are so many brands in the market who are manufacturing and coming up with their new products in the market. Companies are doing anything to win loyal customers by offering products at lower price. So if you are a fan of Android tablet and also want that Android tablet should support Windows for other professional purposes, then today we are having a special device for you. This tablet can be used in Android OS as well as on Windows OS as it is a dual board system and that to an affordable pricing. This is Cube iWork 10. Might be the next big thing for you. So coming to the box content first, here we get the tablet, then a charger, OTG and micro USB cable, and a manual, nothing much. Uh, if you are going to buy a keyboard for the same, like I do, then in the keyboard box, only keyboard is available and nothing much. As you can see, this is the keyboard box, and this is the keyboard which you get within the package. It looks really very sturdy and made up of old metal. Uh, starting with the design part of Cube iWork 10, when we consider the price of the tablet at which it is available, I don't think so we can expect more or rather I would say it is one of the best looking tablet with a great build in the price. Expecting more will be really very rude for this one. The combination of color which Cube used is very attractive and eye catching. The front side is totally black and at the back we get the combination of dark navy blue and black color. The iWork 10 looks and feels premium with every expect. Considering what this tablet can do, it is really very thin device with just only 8mm. The front panel also consider a 2 megapixel camera with uh, several other sensors which are needed. Below that the screen we get a window button and nothing much. Coming to the back side there we get a primary 2 megapixel camera which is already surrounded with black plastic. Then we get some product info and obvious iWork logo with the added Intel inside logo at lower back. The tablet is sleek but still we can easily hold it with both hands so that you don't need to worry about dropping it in any scenario. On the top side of tablet we get power button and volume rockers which works quite well and give nice haptic feedback when you use them. Coming to the left side we get uh, different ports like 3.5mm audio jack, mini HDMI, micro USB port which is 2.0 mainly for OTG purpose. Beside it we get USB type C port for charging purpose and SD card which can support up to 128GB. Coming to the right side we get two speaker grills which works well and are quite loud and the thing is that both works. Finally the downside of the tablet we get support of lock and pogo pins which we can attach using IQ keyboard in it or we can use some third party keyboard as well it depends on you take my words iq keyboard is worth to buy it is really very sturdy to use and have a solid build one thing which i used to mention over here is that when we use the keyboard we also get full size usb port on each side of the keyboard which is really needed thing when we use a windows in the tablet coming to the display part the main thing which we need in tablet is its display cube iwork 10 is equipped with 10.1 inch full hd ips display with 10 multi touch support there are many other brand in the market offering double the resolution but when we see it practical expect it uh, Low down the battery as well as the performance of the tablet while using in Android or Windows mode. It will also increase the cost a lot. We get great viewing angles and even in bright sunlight it works well in both Android and Windows mode. One thing which might affect is that the display which we get is very reflective and while using the same in the sunlight might affect you. The only solution which I got is using a matte screen guard for the display to get better experience in sunlight. Bezels on the side are pretty big which ultimately help us to grab the tablet easily. This is mandatory thing which we needed. Coming to the performance part, main thing which we need to consider in Windows and Android tablet is performance. Cube iWork 10 comes with Intel Atom X5Z8300 which is a cherry tail processor made on 14mm technology and is clocked at 1.4GHz. Coming to the graphics chips, it is having the Intel HD GPU. This is also supported with 4GB DDR3L RAM. While playing HD games on Android or Windows mode, it works fine. I have made a short video on it showing playing games on iWork 10. Surfing on the web performs perfectly. Multitasking on normal basis works fine, but if you make it too high intensive like using a premium pro or any other high-end stuff it is surely going to lag it is not meant for professional photo and video editing it is recommended to use a high-end processor laptops for that uh, coming to the camera part this tablet is having 2 megapixel front as well as back shooter we cannot expect much with a 2 megapixel camera from front as well as from back still i would say doing skype calls and other web video calls will be giving you the average quality 
coming to the storage part this tablet is equipped with 64 gb of internal storage which can be expanded by using a third party micro sd card that top to 128 gb as it is having a dual port system where we getting android as well as windows a lot of internal storage is already occupied with the system we definitely need to expand the memory by using a sd card Coming to the dual mode system which is the USB of the device, the best thing or rather I would say the best USB of the tablet is its dual mode. Uh, this is one of the best thing which uh, will make you choose this tablet and buy one for you. Here we get full fledged experience of Windows 10 and anytime you can pop yourself to Android 5.1. You can switch any OS anytime in just few clicks. As we are having both OS on one tablet, you won't be finding any issue in finding any kind of application and games. Every normal work can be done in this tablet. Watching movies, doing office work, normal Photoshop and other stuff can easily be handled by this device. Overall, whatever OS you choose, they both run without any lag. Coming to the battery part, now battery is one of the most important aspect of the device. Even when a device is having a hardware with dual boot system, uh, the device needs more battery and it is more hungry for the battery. IQ Work 10 comes with large 7500 mAh battery which can easily last you for about 5 hours or even more on continuous movie watching by lowering down the brightness we can enhance the power of battery even more. The rest it depends on you what kind of application and how you are doing the work on the tablet. Coming finally to the keyboard part. You need to additionally purchase the keyboard for this iWork 10 and I will strictly recommend you to buy the keyboard because you are getting different stuff and different USB for this. You will be getting two additional full size USB port. You can easily type on the document by using this keyboard because we are getting proper space of typing for this kind of full size keyboard on the tablet. It will safeguard the screen and tablet. The keyboard which you get additionally will match the color and the size of the tablet which won't make the tablet look odd one out. Coming to the final verdict, personally I would recommend this tablet because of normal office use and other normal work. I would say this one is one of the best tablet which you can buy in affordable pricing. Coming to the bronze, pricing very aggressive, good hardware, dual board system which is having Android and Windows 10. Anytime switch to different OS, all required ports are there, nothing is being left out. Coming to the cons, difficult to use on lap while using the keyboard because it just slipped out. High end work cannot be done like doing premium pro and different other stuff need to be important and might get uh, a charge on custom i have not paid any customs by using ems but if you are surely going to order from dhl and other premium shipper they are going to charge the customs on it so hope you get all the answer for all your queries if you have some particular queries do comment down below i will be happy commenting back to you so that's it for the video guys thanks for watching if you want to see more of this stuff be sure to the like button and do comment and subscribe you can also follow me on twitter and make sure to check out my other youtube videos so see you guys in my next video till then see ya and keep rocking